All right, we've talked about all the pieces, all the things that we're going to look at in the lab. We've actually addressed them. The only thing that we haven't really looked at is just nervous tissue in general. And this is actually an image from one of your slides in class that is basically a giant smear of some kind of cow brain part. Really? So they basically took a cow, like cow brain, and they smeared it onto a slide. We're going to see a nerve. A nerve has not been smeared. Nerve has structures that are maintained. We're going to see a slide of the spinal cord. That has not been smeared. That has structures that we'll be able to see and maintain. This is like taking a scramble, holy scrambled fun times, fun, of nervous tissue and then just smearing it out and looking at what you can see. The neuron cell bodies are huge and obvious, and here it is. That's a nucleus, and this is a giant neuron cell body. Here's probably another neuron that's not quite so giant. Can you see my extensions? Can you see where you'd expect extensions? Do you know if they're axons or dendrites? What's the only way to tell? What direction is information traveling? That's the only way to tell what, what it is. You can't tell from just looking at it. You can tell that that's a neuron cell body. What are all these other little dots out here? Look, I'm making more of them. Those are glial cells. And you know what? Holy, can we even tell? No, they're just mad glial madness. And we can see their nuclei, and that's about it. So the neural, neural tissue is kind of vague, but that's because it's a smear. Now, forward thinking to your comprehensive practical. I probably shouldn't mention that after a lecture like this. But forward thinking to that, your comprehensive practical, I will expect you to identify nervous tissue, and that's what this is. And you can get, it's given away by the presence of these giant neurons. Did we really make it? Whoa, we did. And now you're done. But don't breathe too much because there's more.